Macau started like uh, as a um, uh, um, cultural world artist workers uh, assembly, and uh, yeah, uh, the first action uh, has been to occupy the comp contemporary art uh, uh, museum of the city, and after that, uh, in uh, 2011. And after that, uh, in the spring, uh, we decided to invent uh, a museum. So Macau is uh, the acronym of an unknown museum. Um, and the idea was to create, create like uh, an alternative uh, concept of, uh, of uh, the field of the art production. Uh, managing and facing with uh, the real problem of our uh, city and uh, society and uh, so on. Um, so, um, the composition of Macau uh, is not only artist, so is uh, yeah, cross-sectoral uh, as, as well cross-class, as you say. Um, and we did uh, uh, an inquiry the second year in order to understand this aspect inside and a self uh, uh, survey and we understood uh, these two components uh, for sure um, the idea uh, in, in, in our history uh, was that also the institutional, cultural institutional system uh, was uh, in, like, in the end. So for us, it's not been a, a great enemy. Because in Italy uh, uh, and in Milan, not in Venice maybe, but in Milan, uh, um, the, the, the institutional system is a public one. And uh, right now, is really not uh, has problem much more than uh, to be uh, a, a means of the power. And uh, but we faced a lot of this uh, creative industry uh, model in Milan because uh, Milan is really a machine of event by event in fashion design, uh, uh, media, and. Uh, um, and so uh, we understood uh, that uh, this uh, engine of extraction of uh, value was very power powerful. And uh, what we are feeling is that, um, yeah, the social cooperation in this waiting for uh, something uh, is really the capital, is really the, the value. Uh, of this machine and uh, one year ago we started with Marco to throw and uh, discuss about this abstraction issue and uh, this because this uh, social cooperation uh, in our thought uh, was very clear that uh, is becoming to be very the central point uh, of uh, the capitalism accumulation through big data, uh, social networks uh, control, this uh, uh, self-profiling of behavior uh, that uh, uh, became the value of this machine, of this trans-sectoral info, uh, creative uh, uh, material, uh, logistic uh, machine, um, is a, a very central point. And, uh, that's why we are trying to understand uh, how we can uh, like self-organize this uh, social cooperation. And, and so um, I want only to mention the first panel we had in Milan uh, in this program uh, in which uh, we worked with uh, some examples uh, we are working with, uh, like um, Robin Hood Minor Asset Manager that is here also uh, tonight, uh, and this decent project uh, um, from 
Euro, north of Europe as well, um, that are discussing how to face this techno technological uh, issue in order to uh, to conceive uh, a new a new model of uh, self-organization uh, in the in the cooperation and production. So very uh, very very easily we are speaking about uh, technology as a blockchain, uh, different kind of uh, um, platform in order to organize uh, a, a decentralized. Uh, um, autonomous uh, organization uh, and how to uh, uh, root this kind of te technology in a network of uh, political also oriented community. Um, also also, also uh, uh, concerning uh, Expo we are starting like uh, a mimetic campaign in Expo in order to understand uh, which kind of uh, uh, labor transformation, uh, as Roberto before said, uh, are happening in, uh, in Expo. Uh, also in this case, uh, we are trying to force the Expo utopia, the Expo future, in order to be very close to uh, this kind of uh, uh, workers that are indeed volunteers and uh, that I was thinking before uh, are a good example of this uh, like self-profiling -prof model, no? They are in a way in this uh, machine of uh, in which the work is uh, a self-profiling self uh, uh, process in order to have a more rich curriculum uh, or so on. Um, so I finish here.